Hey folks, welcome to another This Week in Hating Dice. This time I'm actually recording the video on time. I apologize for my uh, disheveled look. I decided that uh, Eve is napping. I'm going to get the video done now because normally what I do is I got, get housework done and then plan to do a video last and then she wakes up and I never get it finished and that's why we've been going late. So here we are, I'm going to jump in, get it done while I look like a bag of crap. And uh, yeah, you guys can uh, see morning housework, Chris. It's fine. Whew, there we go. That's that dealt with. So what have we been doing this week? I uh, ran a Game of Thrones, Song of Ice and Fire, on Saturday. And we had odd numbers, so I got to play in that. I was running a free folk list. Um, similar to a list that I've been running before, where it was four units of free folk raiders. Mance in a unit of trappers as my commander. Then I had um, a giant, but uh, some NCUs and then a unit of spear wives. Um, this time I changed it up a little bit. I went for a second giant, dropped the spear wives for some um, cave dweller savages, and had Tormund in that unit instead. And it definitely added more punch to a list. I didn't really miss the raid leaders, but uh, the Spearwife Matriarchs were actually a bit of a loss because being able to pull the units back and retreat as an extra uh, ability is really, really useful. Especially because the tournament we were running, um, two of the two of the scenarios were, 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 I can't even speak, sorry. They managed to make the insignificant units be worth points, whether it was through Fire and Blood or... Um, See if one um, for morale tests, feast for crows. That's the other mission, and um, I, I mean I can't complain. I picked the missions myself because I was running the event, but um, two lots of missions where my all my insignificant units were worth points was pretty rough. And in the old version of the list, I was able to pull those units back through retreating, whereas in this time I had to use my activations to do it, and um, it kind of hurt. But then the giants managed to do more damage. I went 1 and 2 on the day, but it was really close, pretty swingy. Um, the first game, I felt like my, my I just couldn't get hits. Um, when you're rolling so few attack dice with the Raiders, you need to ride, ride those averages. And I was just a little bit short every time. And I, unless I can get Tormund unit in. And in honesty, I misdeployed, so I can blame my dice in hindsight. Uh, in the moment, I suppose, but I knew immediately that my deployment was slightly off and it kind of hampered me getting the, the correct units into a combat with things that we needed to be in combat with. So um, it, it went okay in the long run. Uh, lots of learning. I definitely played a few of the command cards at the wrong times as well, but it was good fun. Uh, that event was won by Lannisters with uh, the Mountain That Rides. Uh, Bill managed to ride over all of his opponents with the mountain and uh, crush people, so that was good fun to see. Um, we played pretty casually, so I, I, obviously with the Kickstarter stuff being allowed and things like that. So um, yeah, it was good fun. I really enjoyed it, and I'm glad I actually got to play. It's good to get them out. I've not started painting them yet, but soon, TM, soon. Um, other gaming, I was going to try and get a game of X-Wing in on Saturday or Sunday, but uh, finishing off the tidying stuff down here kind of took precedence. Um, I, we played uh, Call of Cthulhu on the evening, so all my like, role-playing stuff was out. I've been trying to pick up the new X-Wing stuff and get all of that packed in and like, change my way, so I went through and made um, six new lists to repack into my plain old case for my uh, my ready to go X-Wing squads. So I've done a lot of gaming related stuff but not as much actual gaming. We played D&D &D, but you should have maybe potentially if you're interested in that kind of thing already seen the player journal so that summarized that session but it was a good challenging combat session. Um, Jim one of our players is away for the next two weeks so I've spent the rest of I'm gonna run Call of Cthulhu, and uh, was potential to record. We might play around here and record the sessions, so I'm gonna try and plan out a decent, um, like mini campaign. Well, it's not a campaign; it's a a two shot, I suppose. We'll try and play it over two weeks, but um, 
it's interesting. I'm trying to play around with the idea of stealing the stories from the card game and dropping it into um, Call of Cthulhu. So we'll see how that goes. I'll let you know what I manage. I've been ordering lots of bits and pieces to try and facilitate that. And I've done a lot of work on my uh, like resetting up the 3D printer. It's only a really cheap one. I don't really use it for any high-end print stuff, but I have been printing some like tiles and different movement things for uh, for D&D &D, and now I'm pr printing some crates and stuff at the moment but like re-leveling the bed and uh, changing all of that and getting new filament and stuff took up a little bit of time this week so there's been that, that's all the hobby related stuff lots of um, Eevee and Jill time actually this week it's been good spending time just with the family I've got a couple of commissions to work on um, we some of these resin bikers i can't remember what the company is called for this commission and the release agent on them has just been a real pain to get off i tried soaking them in simple green and giving them a scrub and i'm still not convinced that the paint's going to stick on them well but i'll be that's a, a problem for future chris on sunday when i get to sit down and paint them but hopefully it goes okay but yeah that's been my week in gaming so let me know what you've been up to Hopefully you've been slightly more productive than me. I mean, I've done lots of housework and uh, writing and different stuff like that, but nothing to really write home about on the gaming front. And yeah, let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. I feel like the comments have been drying up a little bit. And even if you want to post them on Facebook, just you don't need to comment on the video, but head over to Dice Hate Facebook and post on there, and I'll see you on the next one.